Welcome to F1 This Week, a series on this channel where I discuss my opinions and thoughts about the goings-on of the F1 world this week, and what's happened so far, and what my thoughts are on that. Let's get started with the first thing this week, which is Sauber, or what it's now called, doing a flip-flop and kind of changing their, their team name for the second time in the last one month. They went from steak F1 team kick Sauber, which was a mouthful and a half, to steak F1 team. It's better in terms of aesthetics, but has a whole level of problems. Now, I'm not going to go into those problems because, let's be honest, every YouTube channel on this topic has absolutely worked that story to death you know it's terrible but you know what's even worse some of the countries we're going to in the first races of the season they also have an altered calendar so that's the second thing we're going to discuss this in this particular series for today this week which is the fact that ramadan starts on the 11th of march there's two race weekends before that, the Bahrain Grand Prix and the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. These two Grand Prix are going to be held on a Saturday rather than on a Sunday, which already throws your and my schedules out of alignment. So there goes my New Year's revolution of following a calendar and following a schedule because, to be honest, I have not heard any YouTube would talk about this yet, at least what I've, I've what I have been looking around. Nobody's talking about the fact that it's on a Saturday then rather than on a Sunday, which is weird. So heads up for that. Second thing is a report I saw of Danny Ricardo expecting a lot from himself, but also kind of saying that his te the team needs to deliver. The reason is they're going to take AlphaTauri is going, or whatever it's going to be called, Racing Bulls, or whatever it's going to be called, are going to take a lot more components from the RB19, so last season's car, for this season's AlphaTauri. I'm going to call it AlphaTauri. You know what's going on if you're not new to this. If you're new to this, AlphaTauri was the old name, old by Red Bull. Uh, uh, Racing Bulls is now the new name. Don't really know what's going to be, who the title sponsor is going to be. We'll see. So I'm going to call it AlphaTauri because that's probably a sponsor that's going to be on the car anyway. I digress. Dan Ricciardo is quoted to have said, you expect podiums in the first parts of the season. That's a long shot. He didn't say exactly that. He said more that he expects qualifying performances to the likes of Mexico. You remember that race? The race where we thought, collectively, that the AlphaTauri car is actually not that bad. It just needs no air uh, thickness to be an absolute rocket ship. Because they were 4-7, and seven, I believe, in qualifying. It's incredible. Now, if Danny Ricciardo expects that in the beginning of the season, where, let's be honest, air quality is almost all the same. It's pretty thick air compared to Mexico, which is the, one of the highest altitude tracks on the calendar. But doesn't that mean that, that he's also, Dan Ricardo is also saying to Aftari, listen up, you need to um, deliver on a car that can get me podiums and top five finishes consistently. Now, we know... If you've been here around the circus for a while, you know the development curves on these cars is incredible. So they're going to develop massively as things progress, but not as much as we expect them to. So with that out of the way, my final thought for this season is about the Estek F1 team, which to be honest is probably going to be called the Sauer F1 team by basically everybody involved because why would you use stake which is a name you cannot use in a lot of countries that we're going to go to especially in the beginning of the year especially so close to ramadan i mean that's causing the calendar to be shifted so don't you think 
at stake is going to have to change the fact that the, the fact that they've not thought this name through at all. Alumni Ravi, the team representative, team principal, and acting... I don't exactly know what this guy's role is, let's be honest. It's nobody really knows. He has a distinction, but like, what does he actually do? He's a marketing guy, right? So he's a marketing guy. What do you expect him to do with this team? He's not a team principal yet. But we're going to call him Sauer. Sauer needs to get their act together if they want to deliver. Also, Audi is really leaving their hands off this entire project as much as they can, which is should be unnerving for at least the drivers, if not the staff. Because when there's a team that has absolutely bought your team for a particular season, and they refuse to do anything for you, you got to be worried. Now, a lot of people are saying it's because they want the team to deliver on themselves or fail by themselves so that Audi can be like, we're the saviors. I don't necessarily believe that. I believe more in the, the storyline that Audi wants to see if this is a viable project or if can they use the technical know-how from this team to develop the 2026 car. I think that's what Audi is trying to look into. Can Alf Sauber develop the car throughout the season without any guidance such that the car is competitive at at least a few venues? That's what I think. And if they're not, they'll be like massive rehaul of the staff, fire and people that we need to fire and just get new personnel. I think that is the way Audi is trying to look into it. Just maybe some people are not seeing it the right way. Anyway, those are my thoughts. This week, that was what F1 is about. That's what this series is about. I'm calling it F1 this week. Please don't, like, you know, copyright strike me for the logo. I've left it as it is. I've not changed anything. I've just added this text on the side, right? I've just added this text. If you don't like it, let me know. I can do something about it. And if you like this kind of series, like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. Hopefully, I can keep up this weekly schedule of every Thursday or Friday. I think I'm going to do Thursday. I said Friday in the beginning, but I think I'm going to do Thursday. Anyway, peace out. Get out of here.